so despite what I can see outside my window at this current moment, I mean, it is absolutely tipping it down out there at the moment. It is actually summer at the moment, supposedly anyway. That's one of the reasons there hasn't been a proper video in like nearly five weeks. In fact, it's probably even longer since I did a proper talking video. The two videos that I uploaded a few weeks ago were uh, just sort of filler, really. Apart from the podcast, go and watch the podcast that me and my friend Simon put up because we're planning to do more of those, and it's actually pretty entertaining. Um, if It's not for the younger viewers among you, obviously, but uh, if you fancy giving it a listen, I do recommend checking it out. A link will be in the description. But all that aside, it is summer, I have finished my A-levels, I am free as long last, and the Kerbal Space Center are planning an ambitious summer mission, which is what you can see here. We're sending, or they are sending, a submarine to lathe. Yeah, this hasn't been done before, has it? <laughs> the main reason I really wanted to do this mission, really, was because, well, I've never really done much to do with underwater in KSP before. So I thought, screw it, I might as well try and do it with a sort of unmanned mission uh, to Lathe, because Lathe seems like a very tropical planet. I know it really, really isn't a tropical planet. I mean, look how far out it is from the sun, and obviously temperatures at Lathe are like minus a lot <laughs> degrees. And um, the only thing that's keeping the oceans from freezing over is the fact that they are pretty saline, obviously. Um, but aside from that, it looks it looks tropical, so we're going to use that as our tropical destination for our uh, robot summer holiday here in KSP. You can see us burning out towards Jewel now. It's your fairly standard affair. Wait for the right transfer window, burn with all you've got, prograde, escape Kerbin's gravity. You know the drill by now, and I'm just going to skip through all the maneuver node editing and quick saving that I ended up doing because I screwed this up big time about four times because I haven't played KSP in about a month. And this is just after I'd updated all the graphics mods and everything, so everything was crashing, and I got it fixed eventually, and that's what you'll see in this video here, but, uh, to be honest, I, I'm very rusty with this game at the moment. Um, I'm better than what I was when I first picked it back up again, but, jeez, I need to practice more. And again, the main reason I haven't really been playing much KSP or been very active online at all is because I've been doing things in real life. By the time this video goes live, I will currently be on holiday um, somewhere in Wales. Probably getting soaked, but having a good time nonetheless. Um, I am actually putting together a little uh, diary of my summer. Um, bearing in mind that this is the summer that I've finished sort of formal education. Um, and I'm obviously starting university next year, hopefully. <laughs> providing I get the A-level results I need. Um, I am sort of, sort of going to be putting together a sort of uh, diary of my summer and various things that I've been doing, various places I'm exploring. Might put it to music or something, I'm not quite sure the direction that I'm going, but I'm using uh, some 4K video, which is uh, a first for me. I've never really edited in 4K before. Um, I rendered the first bits of footage out yesterday after colour correcting it and everything, and my computer sounded like it wanted to kill itself because it's only got a 4th gen sort of i5 and a, uh, and a GTX 960 and uh, doesn't really have the cooling to go with that. So um, that was fun. That was an experience, especially editing it in Premiere. But hopefully that will turn out all right and uh, I'll be able to show you guys some a pretty cool sort of diary that will be up in sort of one to two weeks time unless my lazy editing um, says otherwise. To be brutally honest with you guys as well, I'm kind of stuck for direction with this channel at the moment. KSP is starting to become slightly irrelevant in my view. I'm still going to be covering it and making sort of videos as and when I can, but I really want to start branching out and doing more games other than KSP. Um, I've always said this for a while, but it's not just games and stuff like that. I actually kind of want to start making short films and stuff like that. It's just the fact that I really don't have the time at the moment to do these sorts of things. Even now, when I'm, you know, free, I have the whole summer basically at the moment, I'm still doing things. I'm doing uh, local video uh, projects for people that I know and people have asked me to do stuff for them. I'm making various video projects for them. I'm in the process of writing my own feature length film, uh, the third one that I'll have done now. Um, the first two were for, uh, they were private ones for schools, but this one is sort of like the first one that I'm trying to get off the ground. I'm still in the process of writing the, uh, the script for that. I'm also doing a documentary, um, or trying to write a documentary on uh, the future of spaceflight as well, which is... Uh, it's going completely according to plan. 
especially after uh, all the SpaceX commotion with them cancelling Red Dragon, me just starting to record the script for that, and of course it goes completely to pot and I'll have to go back to the drawing board on that one, which is good, it's fine, it's fine. So I'm trying to do all this, and all the while I do start university in September, october sort of time, providing again I have the A-level results, which I might do, we'll find out um, in due course obviously, but all going well, I will be starting university in a month or two. Um, this means, of course, because in case you guys didn't already know, you I've mentioned this multiple times, I want to go into primary education. Um, all this means that I'm going to be very, very busy, and there's all sorts of privacy stu sort of stuff that go with the education system as well, which means I may not be able to do this for much longer, at least in the current format that I do this channel in. Um, the way I see it at the moment, this is a very sort of frank moment, all joking aside with my, yeah, uh, re ridiculous goals and stuff, all joking aside, this is sort of uh, where I stand at the moment. I either have to grow up with regards to the channel's content, um, or just stop doing it entirely, To be in my view anyway. Um, I don't want to stop doing it entirely. I love doing these videos. I love just all the silly stuff to do, go do with video games and stuff like that. But it's obviously to do with the career that I want to go into. It's sort of it's it's a sort of grey area that I honestly didn't want to address, but now I'm sort of been forced to. I've got no choice really. I'm gonna try and keep going with KSP for as long as I can. Obviously, it is a fantastic game, and you can get some fantastic cinematic stuff out of it. And so long as I can keep doing that, and it's fine, you know, I'll keep doing it. It's good fun, and it's good fun to make a video like this every once in a while to sort of uh, sort of start talking with you guys, sort of explain what I'm doing. Um, I've also got Juno Horizon Part 3, which I mentioned on Twitter. It's overdue, actually, because of all the other stuff I've been doing. But I do have Juno Horizon Part 3 in the works still. Uh, that'll be, the, hopefully, the, either the penultimate or the closing chapter to the Juno Horizon series. Um, I'm sort of midway through recording the audio at the moment. Who knows when it's going to be finished, to be honest, knowing my schedule. You guys know what I'm like. But aside from that, that's kind of where I stand at the moment. That sort of explains, or best tries to explain, my inactivity. Hopefully you guys don't think I'm pulling an angry Joe or anything. Um, I'm trying to be as honest as possible. To be honest, it's just me being lazy um, <coughs> and having multiple other projects on at the time. Because I don't do this full time. I have work and various other things that I do as well, as I've just explained, ad nauseum. You don't want to hear about me anymore. Let's go back to the mission for the closing stages here. You can see we've reached the bottom of Lathe. We had a fairly sort of simple touchdown. Um, it's nothing really too interesting, really. We got to the bottom of the ocean and we saw that, yes, there is indeed a floor there and you can actually uh, land on it, unlike the ocean floor in KSP of old. Um, you, of course, already knew that because you've already seen a million and one submarine uh, missions on lathe and this took about 20 minutes to get down to the from the sea, sea level all the way down to the ocean floor so now i'm just obviously cutting through that and playing at like eight times normal speed as well or it could be four i don't even know but um we're coming up back to the surface and this will act as a probe as i said but yeah guys that's been a pretty much of an update to this video um i'm sorry if it's been sort of somber but uh i couldn't think of any better way to do it but thanks ever so much for watching guys your support as always means a lot to me um leave your opinions on the mission in the comments down below this is Brad signing off and as always peace out